Hello. How are you today? Fine? Today is the last day of this week, and I have good news for you. Today you are going to receive only one class. Hey. <laughs> okay, so we have Friday, April 0 to, uh, 3 or 3rd, 2020. And the topic that we are going to see today is zeros in the quotient, page 101. But as you know, guys, we are going to start by praying. So I will invite you to bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you because so far you have helped us, you have blessed us, you have given us a new day. Thank you for the opportunity of being with our family at home. And also, God, um, God we thank you because you haven't forgotten about us. You have supplied for all, for our necessities. Um, keep us safe. Continue protecting us. And also, we pray for all people around the world, for the ones that are working in hospitals and also for the other people that have to continue working in this situation. Protect them and let them to be safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So now I need you to take your math book and notebook, write the date, the topic, and let's open your book in page 101. We are going to see today zeros in the quotient, page 101. And let's read the problem all together. The problem says, Richard has been saving all the money he earned doing his paper route for one for a year. And the question of the problem says, how much savings did Richard average each week? So let's see, let's analyze the information that we have in the problem. I want you to see the picture in there you can see Richard with a little notebook. And in the notebook he has how much dollars he has saved in one year. So how much dollars uh, does he have? In one year, he saved $315.64. Okay. This is a decimal point. Okay, so let's continue reading the problem. We are asked to find Richard's average weekly savings. So let's answer the first information sentence. Richard has saved how many dollars, how much dollars in one year? $315.64. So let's answer that in the first information sentence. And then we have, there are how many weeks in one year? Do you know how many weeks? A year has, we know that in one month, we have four weeks. But in one year, how many weeks do you think? Okay, let me tell you. One year has 52 weeks. Okay, 52 weeks. So let's answer in here. There are 52 weeks in a, in one year. Let's continue reading. To find Richard's weekly savings, how, how much money he saved in one week, we divide the total he saved in one year by the number of weeks in a year. That means that you have to divide that total he saved in one year by the 52 weeks that one year has. So we have to divide 315 and 64 by 52. 
And that is what we are going to do right now. Okay, there we have it. 315 and 64 divided by 52. So the same question of always. Guys, uh, this process is the same process of all the division that we have been seeing uh, the, the other days. So you have to follow exactly, exactly the same process. So here we have how many numbers in the divisor? Two. So we are going to take two numbers from the dividend. And now we have to see if we can divide. Can you divide 31 by 52? No, right? Because 31 is less than 52. Okay. So what do you have to do? To take another number from the dividend. So you can say 300. 15 divided by 52. And now you have to look for a number that you can multiply by 52 and that it's going to be the result 350, 15 or close to 315. But you do not know the timetable of 52, right? So let's use our famous trick. And we are going to take only number 5 because you already know the timetable of 5. And we are going to take from here 3 and 1 because we cannot take only 3 because it's less than 5. So we say 31 divided by 5, 6, right? Because 6 times 5 is 30. Remember that we do this trick only to find out or to have an idea of the number that we are going to use. But now, what do you have to do? Now you have to multiply number 6 by 52, not only by 5. So you come apart and you say 52 times 6, or 6 times 52, that is the same. And let's do it. 6 times 2, 12. Excellent. 6 times 5, 30 plus 1, 31. And now we have 312. And in here we have 315. Can we use this one, 312? Yes, because it's less than 315 and we are going to be able to subtract. So now let's write in here 312. And then you can subtract. 5 minus 2, 3. And 1 minus 1, 0. And 3 minus 3, 0. Now, look the dividend. Do you have another number that you can bring down? Yes, right? Number 6. So I bring down number 6. And now I have 36 divided by 52. Can you divide 30, 36 by 52? Yes or not? No, right? What is the problem? 36 is less than 52. Okay, so what do you have to do? Remember that you already brought from up, uh, from up you already uh, brought number 6. You brought number 6 down, and even though with number 6, you were not able to divide. You cannot divide. So you have to take the other number. You have to take number 4 down. But do you remember that I told you that when you bring, pay attention to this, when you bring one number down, like number 6, and this number is not enough to divide, and you need another number from the dividend, first you have to ask for permission because you cannot bring two numbers at the same time without permission. So what is the permission that you have to ask for? How are you going to get that permission? 
Ah, with zero. Do you remember? We have to add zero before bringing down the other number. Now that you already added number zero, you have the permission to bring down number four and you are going to have 364 divided by 52. Now it's possible because 364 is greater than 52. But let's use our trick. We are going to continue using our trick. And we are going to use from here 5. And from here we are going to use 3 and 6. What number is going to be in the quotient that you can multiply by 5? And that is going to be 36 or close to 36. What number? 7, right? Because 7 times 5 is 36. But now you have to multiply uh, this number 7. You have to multiply it by 52. So that is what we are going to do here apart. So we are going to multiply 52 times 7. That is the same that 7 times 52. And let's do it. 7 times 2, 14. 14 here and 1 here. 7 times 5, 35. Plus 1, 36. Can you use that? Yes, it's perfect. It's exactly the amount that I have in here. So let's write 364. And 364 minus 364 zero so in this case we don't have remainder now guys is here something missing in the division look at the dividend yes it's missing the sign of dollar okay because here we have sign of dollar and also it's missing what else Exactly. Look, here we have a decimal point. And how many decimal numbers do you have? You have one, two. You have two decimal numbers. So also in the, in the answer, you have to have two decimals. So let's count. One, two. So the decimal point is going to be here. So, the answer is $6.07, okay? So, let's answer in the last information sentence. Richard's average weekly savings were 6 and $0.07, dollars. okay? Uh, now, uh, I need you to take your notebook because we are going to solve exercises from 1 to 6 from page 101. So, let, let's do number 1. 53 and 56 divided by 26. How many numbers do you have in the divisor? 2. So, you are going to take 2 numbers from the dividend. Can you divide 53? by 26? Yes, because 53 is greater than 50, uh, 26. So, what number can you use in the quotient that you can use to move, to be multiplied by 26 and that the result has to be 53 or close to 53? As we do not know the timetable of 26, let's use our trick. And we say 2, and in here we are going to take 5. 5 divided by 2? Two? 2, right? Because 2 times 2 is 4. So now you have to multiply 2 times 26. Let's do it apart. 26 times 2. 2 times 6? 12. 2 times 2? 4. And 1? 5. So we have 52. Can you use 52? 
Yes, because 52 is less than 53. And then we subtract 3 minus 2, 1, and 5 minus 5, 0. Now, what do you have to do for you to be able to continue dividing? Ah, uh, you have to bring down number 5. So 5 comes down. But what happens? You already brought down number 5, but 15 is not enough for 26 because 15 is less. You need to bring down number 6. But can you do it without permission? No, right? We need the permission. So you have to uh, get the permission. And how do you get the permission? Adding zero in the quotient. Don't forget that. When you bring one number from uh, the dividend, when you bring one number down, and that number is not enough because it's small than the divisor, you have to bring down another number, but first you have to add a zero in the quotient. So now you have the permission to bring down number six, and we are going to write in here six. And now you have 156 divided by 26. Again, we are going to use our trick. We are going to use two from here, and from here we are going to use 15. What number multiplied by 2 is going to be 15 or close to 15? 7, right? Because 7 times 2 is 14. So, but now we have to multiply 7 times 26. So let's do that for 26 times 7. 7 times 6, 42. 2 in here and 4 in here. 7 times 2, 14 plus 4, 18. Can you use 182? No, right? Because it's greater than 156. So that means that we have to use a number less than 7. So let's try with number 6. So let's multiply 26. 26 times 6. 6 times 6, 36. 6 in here and 3 here. 6 times 2, 12 plus 3, 15. And this one is exact. So we are going to have in here 156 minus 156 and it's going to be 0. Now, what is missing in the, in the answer? Okay, look that we have a sign of dollar here, so we have to write a sign of dollar. What else? Ah, we have decimal point in here, and we have one, two decimals, so we have to have one, two decimals in here, so the decimal point is going to be there. So the answer is two and zero six dollars. And Remember that we need to check our answer. So we are going to check quickly. How do you check? Remember that for checking, you have to multiply this times this plus this. So let's do it. 2 and 0, 6 times 26. Okay, let's Okay, let's multiply. 6 times 6, 36. 6 in here and 3 here. 6 times 0, 0 plus 3, 3. 6 times 2, 12. Okay? Now, we are going to continue multiplying this one, number 2. But remember that you have to leave uh, one space or add 0. 2 times 6, 12, and 1 in here. 2 times 0, 
0 cross 1, 1, and 2 times 2, 4. Now we add 6 and 0, 6, 3 and 2, 5, 2 and 1, 3, 1 and 4, 5. So we were adding what? Dollars. So in here we have to have dollars also. And remember that we have decimals. How many decimals? Two decimals. So we have to have two decimals here also. So we are going to write the, po the decimal point in there. Decimal point, not comma. Decimal point. So we have 53 and 56. If you see, it's the same that we have in the dividend. So this one is correct. So let's move to exercise number two. $220 and 80 divided by 46. How many numbers do you have in here? Two. So I will take two in here. Can you divide 22 by 46? No, because 22 is less, right? So you need to take another number from the dividend. So you are going to divide now 220 by 46. But Let's use our trick. We don't know the timetable of C of 46, but we already know the timetable of 4. So by here I'm going to take 4, and by here I'm going to take 22. What number can you multiply by 4 that it's going to be 22 or close to 22? 5, right? Because 5 times 4 is 20. But now you have to multiply 5 not only by 4. You have to multiply 5 by 46 or 46 by 5. 5 times 6, 30. 5 times 4, 20 plus 3, 23. It's big. 20, 230 is bigger than 220. So that means that we have to use a less number than 5. A number less than 5. So let's use number 4. So we are going to use number 4 here also. And let's multiply. 4 times 46. 4 times 6. 40, uh, 24, sorry. And 2 here. 4 times 4. 16 and 2. 18. Okay. So this amount, we can use it because it's less than 220. And we are going to write 184. And then we subtract. Can you say 0 minus 4? No. So one, uh, number 2 becomes 1. And 0 becomes number 10 with the unit that uh, number 2 gave to 0. 10 minus 4? 6. And 1 minus 8? Can you say that? No, right? So again, this number 2 will become number 1. And this one that I have here will become 11. So we can say 11 minus 8, 3. Okay, and 1 minus 1, 0. Be careful. Always check that your remainder has to be less than your divisor. This one is my remainder. Is less than that divisor? Yes. So we are dividing correct. So... But can you continue dividing? No, because it's less. So what do you need to do? To bring down number 8 without any problem. So I will put 8 here. And now we are going to say 368 divided by 46. Let's use the trick. Let's take number 4. And from here, let's take 36. 36 divided by 4? 9, right? But do you think if we use 9, the amount is going to be big? Let's try with 8, because I think it's going to be uh, too big if we use 9. Because it's exactly 36. And when we multiply 9 times 6, it's going to be more. Okay, so let's multiply 40, uh, 46 times 8. 46 times 8. 8 in here. Let me erase this. And let's do it. 8 times 6. 48. 8 times 4. 32. Plus 4. 
36 is exactly the amount that we have in here. Look. 368 and 368 minus 368 is going to be zero but guys we cannot leave the division here we cannot finish yet why because if you see in the dividend we already we have a one number that we haven't used and this number is number zero so we have to bring number zero and we are going to write number zero here now can you divide zero by 46 no right but you do not have any other number that you can bring but you already brought number zero from down and you couldn't use it so when you bring a number and you cannot use it even though you don't have another number to use, always you have to, to add zero. Why? Uh, because you brought down this one from, from the dividend and you didn't use it. You didn't use it dividing. So always you have to add a zero. Be attentive or be very careful with this because if you do not add a zero, it's not the same to say 480 that only saying 48. So, and also there is something missing in the answer. What is missing? The sign of dollar, excellent. And remember that we have two decimals. Here we have the decimal point. So we are going to have also two decimals in here. So the answer is four and 80. Let's see if our division is correct. This times this plus this. 4 in 80 times 46. 6 times 0, 0. 6 times 8, 48. 6 times 4, 24 plus 4, 28. Now we leave in a space or, or add 0 to continue with number 4. 4 times 0, 0. 4 times 8, 32. 2 in here and 3 here. This one doesn't want to. And 3 there. Okay. 4 times 4, 16 plus 3, 19. Then we have to add <coughs> 0 plus 0, 0. 8 plus 0, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. 1 and 2, 3 plus, plus 9, 12. And 1 and 1, 2. Okay, what is missing? The sign of dollar that we have here. So we have to add sign of dollar. And also the two decimals that we have in here. So we have to have two decimals here also. And it's going to be there. Is this one the same that we have in the dividend? Yes. So number two is correct. In number three, we have 33,895 divided by 83. How many numbers? In here, two. So we are going to take two from here. Can you divide 33 by 83? No. Why? Because 33 is less than 83. So I'm going to take another number. And let's use our trick. The trick says that we are going to use only number 8. And from here we are going to use 33. What number can you multiply by 8 that is going to be 33? 4, right? Because... 8 times 4 is 32. So, but now we have to multiply 4 times 83. So, let's do that. Or 83 times 4. 4 times 3, 12. And 4 times 8, 32. Plus 1, 33. So, we use 332 here. 
and then we subtract 8 minus 2, 6, and 3 minus 3, 0, and 3 minus 3, 3, 0. Now, guys, what do you have to do? Look at the dividend. Do you have another number that you can bring down? Yes, number 9. Okay, so you are going to bring number 9 down, but can you divide 69 into 83? No, right? So you need to bring down number 5, but you need permission because you already brought down number 9. So, how do you get the permission? Adding 0 in the quotient. So now you have the permission to bring down number 5. Let's use our trick. Our trick said that we are going to use only number 8, and from here we are going to use 69. What number can you multiply by 8 that is going to be 69 or close to 69? Eight, right? Because eight times eight is sixty-four. So let's let's do it. So we have to multiply eighty-three times eight. And let me erase this. Let's do it. Eight times three. 24. Excellent. 8 times 8, 64 plus 2, 66. Can you use that number? Yes, 664. And then we subtract. Let me erase this. 5 minus 4, 1. 9 minus 6, 3. And 6 minus 6, 0. So in this case, we have remainder. The answer is 408 and remainder 31. Okay, let's check if that one is correct. So remember that we have to multiply this times this plus this. Let's do it. 408 times 83, and then we are going to add 30, 31. 3 times 8, 24. 4 in here and 2 here. 3 times 0, 0 plus 2, 2. 3 times 4, 12. Okay, now we have to multiply number 8, this number 8, but we have to add a 0 or leave the space. 8 times 8, 64, excellent, 4 in here and 6 here. 8 times 0, 0 plus 6, 6. 8 times 4, 32. And then we have to add 4 and 0, 4, 2 and 4, 6, 2 plus 6, 8, 1 plus 2, 3, and 3 here. Now you have to add... The remainder, what is the remainder? 31. So let's see. 4 plus 1, 5. 6 plus 3, 9. Here, 8. 3, 3. Is this one the same amount as this one? Yes. So that means that number 3 is correct. Look that in your book, Number four says only copy and divide. So that means that we are not going to check. So let's do it. How many numbers in the divisor? Two. So I will take two from the dividend. Can you divide 45 into 64? No, because it's less. So we have to take another one. Now we have to say 450 divided by 64. So let's use our trick. And we are going to use number six in here. And from here, we are going to use 45. What number multiplied by 6 is going to be 45 or close to 45? 7, right? Because 7 times 6 is 42. But 
Now we have to multiply not only 7 times 6. We have to multiply 7 times 64. So let's do it apart. 64 times 7. 7 times 4? 28. 8 in here and 2 here. 7 times 6? 42 plus 2? 44. So here we write... 448 and then we subtract can you say 0 minus 8 no right 5 will become number 4 and 0 will become 10 10 minus 2 uh, minus 8 sorry 2 and 4 minus 4 0 and 4 minus 4 0 what do you have to do guys now look that we have numbers in the dividend Excellent. You have to take down number zero. But can you divide 20 uh, by 64? No, right? So you have to bring down the other zero that you have in the dividend. But before bringing down that one, because you already took down number zero, what do you have to do? Pay or ask for permission. How do you get the permission? Adding zero in the quotient so now you have the permission to bring down the other one and now we have 200 divided by 64 let's use our trick we are going to use only number 6 and 20 what number can mu be multiplied by 6 that is going to be 20 or less or less than 20 very close to 20 3 right because 3 times 6 is 18 so now we have to multiply 3 both by 64. So let's do it. Or 64 by 3. 3 times 4? 12. 3 times 6? 18 and 1? 19. So we come and write 192 here. And then we have to subtract. Can you say 0 minus 2? No. So this 0 cannot lend a unit to this one because it's 0. So number 2 will become number 1. And this 0 will become number 10. Right? Now this one that is number 10 can lend a unit to this other 0. So this, this one is becoming number 10 but this one is becoming number 9 don't get lost in here those are a uh, subtraction that you already know how to do it okay 10 minus 2 8 9 minus 9 0 and 1 minus 1 0 so do you have another number to bring down from the dividend no right so this one is the remainder and we are going to write remainder 8 so the answer is 703 remainder 8. We are not going to check it because the instruction says only copy and divide. So let's go immediately to number 5. Number 5 says 26,609 divided by 38. How many numbers in the divisor? 2. So I will take 2 from the dividend, but it is enough 26 uh, for being divided by 38 no right so because 26 is less than 38 so we need to take another number so now guys 266 divided by 38 let's use our trick let's use number 3 and from here 26 what number can you multiply by 3 that it's going to be 26 or close to 26? 9, right? Because 9 times 3 is 27. But now you have to multiply 9 times 38. So let's do it. 38 times 9. 9 times 8? 72. Okay. 9 times 3? 27. Excellent. Plus 7. 34. Can you use that number? 
No, it's bigger than 266. So that means that we have to use a less number in there. So what number can we use? Let's try with, even though even number eight, it's too big. So let's try with seven better. You can try with A, but you are going to see that it's big, too big. Uh, let's try with 7. 7 times 38. 7 times 8? 56. Okay. 7 times 3? 21 plus 5? 26. Now, can you use 266? Yes, it's exactly... The, the amount that we have in here, look. So now we subtract 6 minus 6, 0, 6 minus 6, 0, and 2 minus 2, 0. Now, but if you see in the dividend, we already have numbers. So we have to take this 0 down, and can you divide 0 by 38? No, right? So you need to take the other number, number 9, down. But you already took number zero down. So what do you need to do? The permission. So you have to add zero in the quotient. And now you will be able to bring nine down. But we have the same problem. Nine, it's too little, too small to be divided by 38. But you already brought number nine down. And you don't have any other number to bring down. So we have to add zero in the quotient. Why? Because this one is not remainder. Well, it's going to be remainder, but you brought down number nine and you didn't use it. So remember that if you bring down a number and you cannot use it, you have to add zero in the quotient. And so in here is 700 and remainder nine. Okay? You can corroborate. Remember that if you want to verify if this one is okay, multiply this times this plus this. And you're going to see that is this in here. So let's number six says uh, 65,000. This one is bad in there. 65,088 divided by 92. How many numbers in the divisor? Two. So I will take two from the dividend. Can you divide 65 by 92? No, because uh, 65 is less. So you have to take another one. Can you divide 650 into 92? Yes, because 650 is greater. But we do not know the timetable of 92, so we are going to use our trick. We are going to use 9 in here, and in here we are going to use 65. What number can you multiply by 9 that it's going to be 65 or close to 65? 7, right? Because 7 times 9 is 63. But now you have to multiply 7 times 92. So let's do it. 92 times 7. 7 times 2? 14. 7 times uh, 9, 63, plus 1, 64. Can you use that number? Yes, because it's uh, small than 650. Now we have to um, subtract. Can you say 0 minus 4? No, right? So 5 becomes 4. And let's say you need to number zero, so zero becomes 10. 10 minus 4, 6. 4 minus 4, zero, and 6 minus 6, zero. Now, what do you have to do? Look at the dividend. Do you have numbers to bring down? Yes, so you are going to bring down number 8. But when you bring down number 8, now you have 68, and you see that this one is less than this one. But you already brought down one number. So for you to be able for bringing down this other number, what do you have to do? To add zero in the quotient. 
So now you have the permission to bring down number eight. And now we have 688 divided by 92. So let's use our trick. We are going to use only nine from here and 68 from here. What number can you multiply by, by nine that is going to be um, close to 68? The same seven, right? Because seven times nine is 63. So let's let's use seven. And we, and we already have here the uh, what or how many is seven times 92? We have that is this one, 644. So uh, we don't have to do it again. So we have in here 644, and then we are going to subtract. Eight minus four, four. Eight minus four, four. And six minus six, zero. So look that this one is our remainder. It has to be less than this one. It's okay. So here we are going to have the answer 707 and remainder 44. Guys, uh, this is all about divisions. And this is the last topic that we are going to see about divisions. Um, the other topic that we are going to see after this are uh, different topics, totally different. So guys, if you feel that you need to practice a little bit more multiplications and divisions, please do it because I need you to do your effort. I know we are in a different situation. It's not the same that being at school, but you have to uh, give your best also your part. And what is your part? To practice at home. So this was the last topic. Uh, the next class of math that is going to be the next week, we are going to do a, a review, okay? A review of uh, all these kind of divisions. If you saw all this week, we were learning only about divisions, different kind of division, but only divisions. So please remember when do you have to add zero, uh, okay, to, to the quotient and so on. So guys, now is your turn. What you are going to do right now? You are going to work. There you have the page. You have to work in page 200, 102, sorry, 102 exercises from one to nine and one problem solving. Send me the picture of the process and also of the answers in the book. And see you, have a nice weekend. If you have something to work on because you haven't uh, finished all your work, so you have the weekend to finish. So enjoy with your family. And remember, stay home, stay safe. Blessings.